Okay, here we are in the, uh, uh, what's this? Is this the fourth part, I think? Well, that's a lot of parts of this, uh, rotation tutorial. So, um, okay, we're just gonna make a few last minute, um, changes to this stage before we get down into lighting the stage, which is always, uh, exciting. And you know what, um, the, uh, actual video, 3D rotation that I posted on YouTube didn't have, also was a roof. So I'm going to use another texture. Ooh, so many. This is the third one. Wow. Um, that's not it. Can't turn it. Uh, that's it. Hey, everybody makes mistakes. Stop laughing. Anyway, make sure you weren't laughing. It wasn't that funny to me. Uh, make it a 3D layer. Change it to gold. And this is, uh, name it, uh, the roof. Makes sense. Um, and, uh, go back into our two view. This one's easier. Um, so the picture I took of the inside of a, um, cabinet, which is, uh, ironic because it was fake wood texture anyway, but anyway. Um, transform. We need to, uh, so I can use the uh, rotate tool. I'm not sure what I was doing. Good old shift. Um, to make it flatten out. Move it up. I'm going to hold down shift so it'll move faster. And uh, scale it up as much as it needs to be, which is about that. Uh, it could work to a certain extent, but I actually think I'm going to apply another of our good old um, motion dial to it. Dial width. No, the other way. Dial height. See, now I'm not certain what it's supposed to look like, but I think, I think, I think it looks, uh, it looks kind of uh, almost like a roof, maybe a beams or... I don't know. It's good enough for this. Anyway, and uh, you know what I certainly didn't have since I didn't even have a back wall for the actual video? I certainly didn't have a door. So let's throw in a door real quickly. Where's my door? There it is. Uh, if you just drag um, textures from your folder onto the effects panel, it'll still go in the project's um, thing. Don't worry about that too much. Um, Worry about other things. There are plenty of other things that don't make sense. So anyway, door. Yeah, this is a door photograph. I got 3D layer, gold. If anybody knows how to change the default color for layers, please tell me. Uh, anyway, so... Yeah, move it back. Uh, go back so we can see what we're doing. And I haven't really figured out what kind of scale it should have, because I haven't defined <laughs> how big people are going to be or anything. That's uh, <laughs> just um, further ahead than I usually plan. But I'll say about like that. And, you know, you know, just a quick little thing you can do if you feel like it. It doesn't look great, but... You know, at least it's uh, another little detail. So, yeah, anyway. So now, actually going to do the lighting. Uh, okay, so, layer, a uh, new light. We're going to make this a, yeah, spotlight. So now, what really helps here is to go into a um, side left view. And, uh, you know what helps even more? Uh, I'm going to maximize the timeline. You do that by hitting the little tilde key, the key that right next to the one on the top of your keyboard. I'm going to select all of these. Um, hold down control or select the first one, hold down shift, select the last one. And I'm going to check their locked attribute so we can't move them which is good. Hit tilde again to get out of that. Um, so now we can't accidentally, you know, move our text layers around uh, 
now that we're done altering them, it's a really good thing to do. Um, I'm going to leave our work camera and um, our light um, anyway. And another thing that could help is um, if we could um, see see what we're doing a little bit better. So the uh, way I recommend that is check off the visible for the roof and the back of the room. There. Now we can uh, zoom out as much as we uh, want to and still see what we're doing. So, going to move this. I have to know about um, lights. Uh, this kind of light, the uh, spotlight, is that um, they have two things that you use. They have their um, little thing machine in the front there, which is the uh, point of interest. It's like a camera that we. Uh, uh, point of interest that we actually turned off, but if you grab it, you can kind of move it around in this view and I'm never quite sure what it's going to do, but um, yeah, it, it defines where your camera's um, pointing. So, keep that in mind. You can do some really interesting things with uh, that, and it's actually different from orientation. So, uh, yeah, let it confuse you as much as you as much as you want, I know it confuses everybody else. I'm going to reset the transform <laughs> tributes on that since I messed everything up. And I'm going to not do that. Zoom in. I need to move it forward in Z. And up in Y. And now, since we're in the side view, I can grab this, um, I can grab the point of interest and know what it's going to do. It's just going to slide along the z-axis. Yes. So, so go back to the top view and we're going to take this and uh, move it over a little bit. And it's easy, been a good idea to um, rename your lights um, front light because we need that whole confusion about front versus back. Who cares? Um, duplicate and bring this one over here. And uh, now we're going to take both of those, select them down here, control, duplicate both of those, control D, and uh, they'll be next to their. Um, the ones that they were duplicated from initially. I want to grab them both, drag them to the top or bottom so the duplicates will be next to each other. Now we're going to take those duplicates and move them um, separately. Move them back. Mm. Need to move the uh, point of interest to I'm actually going to grab that. Move that like that. The other duplicate. Uh, it's just easier to slide these because if you start trying to drag them around when they're right on top like that, it'll get con it'll get confusing. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, if you want to, by this point, you know how to fill in this gap on this, this stage here if you want to. So, uh, you know, I think this is the way I'm going to leave it for um, lighting. Um, you could take an ambient light. Um, with a fairly low setting, like maybe... 25 or something low intensity so when you rotate around you can see the background as long as their layers are turned on uh, yeah um, yeah I think that'll do it for our stage um, I'll see you in the next segment where we'll finally be doing something different besides stage building Ah, hope to see you there.